If you follow our channel or astronomy developments regularly, you probably already know that the new James Webb Space Telescope is about to completely revolutionize our view of the universe. In September of last year, NASA released another image of the new super telescope that caused quite a stir. The image shows the icy planet Neptune, and it's the best we've seen of this fascinating planet in 30 years. In fact, Neptune is one of the least explored and thus most mysterious planets in the solar system. Before we move on to the blue ice giant, we'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so anyway, and activate the notification bell so that you're guaranteed to not miss any of our future videos. Also, give us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed the latest findings about about Neptune. We'll start now with a few facts about the blue planet at the end of the solar system. Neptune Facts Neptune is the eighth known planet in the solar system as seen from the Sun, and since Pluto was stripped of its planetary status in 2006, also the last. Measured by diameter, Neptune is the fourth largest, the third most massive, and the densest planet in the solar system. It has about 17 times the mass of Earth and is slightly more massive than its nearly identical twin brother, Uranus. Neptune is composed mainly of gases, liquids, and ice. Officially, it's an ice giant. For one orbit around the Sun, Neptune needs, at a distance of 2.8 billion miles, a whopping 164.8 Earth years. Neptune was the first planet to be discovered by mathematical calculations alone. Galileo Galilei had already noticed the blue phenomenon in the 17th century, but he mistook Neptune for a star. Not until 1846 did the British mathematician and astronomer John Couch Adams uncover via mathematical calculation that there must be another planet behind Uranus, discovered in 1781. Couch's calculations were confirmed at about the same time by the French astronomer Urban Le Verrier. The planet was first seen by a German astronomer named Johann Gottfried Galle. On September 23, 1846, looking up at the night sky from the Berlin Observatory, he identified Neptune as the eighth planet in the solar system. The trademark of Neptune is its blue color. This is due to the peculiar vibrational pattern of the molecular structure in gaseous methane, which makes up the bulk of Neptune's structure. The bluish color also earned the planet the name of the god of the sea. Neptune is one of the least studied planets to date. Observations of the planet's atmosphere over the past few decades have revealed sometimes dramatic changes in the structure of the ice giant. This has led to great concern among scientists. With so little data known about Neptune, researchers didn't know what to do with these observations. James Webb's Image of Neptune the first exciting images of Neptune were provided by the Voyager spacecraft in 1989. Launched in 1977, the probe reached the planet after a 12-year flight. Neptune, however, was not Voyager's destination. The Voyager dual probe had been designed to fly through the entire solar system and then enter interstellar space. This image was to remain the best mankind had of Neptune for more than 30 years. The first Hubble Space Telescope also provided images of the ice giant, but the quality was rather mediocre. Scientists were all the more excited for the launch of the new James Webb Telescope. In September 2022, we saw Neptune in a completely new way. Not only did Webb capture the clearest view of this distant planet's rings in more than 30 years, its cameras also show the ice giant in an entirely new light. The image was taken with the NearCam near-infrared camera, which images objects in the near-infrared range of 0.6 to 5 microns. In this way, Neptune does not appear blue, but very dark. The dark areas are most likely methane gas, which strongly absorbs red and infrared light. The bright stripes and spots, on the other hand, are clouds of methane ice. Due to the reflection of sunlight, they appear almost white. Thanks to this technique, Neptune's fine ring system became clearly visible for the first time. The rings have long been known to scientists, but previous technologies were barely able to visualize or image the rings, which are presumably made of ice crystals. The thin, bright line orbiting the planet's equator suggest atmospheric circulations. In plain language, these are violent winds and storms raging on Neptune's surface. 
A previously known vortex at the South Pole is clearly visible in the James Webb image. Also, a first is the depiction of the continuous band of clouds that envelops the planet at higher latitudes. Light filtering methods allow scientists on Earth to determine the exact composition of gases and other structures from a distance. Studying the rings alone, first observed by Voyager 2 in 1989, will provide exciting new insights into the ice giant at the end of the solar system. For astronomers, this is a milestone in the study of Neptune and the long-awaited consolation for NASA's lack of funding for its own Neptune probe for the time being. The Great Dark Spot the processes on Neptune's surface are among the last great mysteries of the star system. In 1989, Voyager 2 discovered the so-called Great Dark Spot during its flyby in Neptune's southern hemisphere. This is a gigantic whirlwind, similar to the Great Red Spot of Jupiter. In 1994, a team of researchers using the Hubble Space Telescope set out to study the Great Dark Spot in more detail. To the researchers' astonishment, however, the high-pressure area the size of Eurasia had suddenly disappeared. Instead, the scientists found a new dark spot in the northern hemisphere. The fact that this had also disappeared after only a few years showed that the enormous storms that dominate Neptune's surface are far more short-lived than those of Jupiter. On its surface, the storm known as the Great Red Spot has been raging for centuries and in exactly the same place. Neptune's storms may be shorter-lived than those of its big brother Jupiter, but as far as wind speeds are concerned, Neptune is the undisputed king in the system. Its storms reach incredible speeds of 1,305 miles per hour. In comparison, the most violent tropical cyclones reach only about 186 miles per hour. So you really don't want to encounter a Neptune storm. Unexplainable processes on Neptune's surface. In 2020, scientists were thrown into turmoil. A team of researchers from the University of California at Berkeley used the Hubble telescope to observe a storm on the surface that was wider than the Earth's Atlantic Ocean. The storm originated in the northern hemisphere of the planet. Since the discovery in 2018, Berkeley experts have been looking annually at what's happening. In 2019, the storm began to drift southward, moving toward Neptune's equator, where storms usually dissipate. But to scientists' surprise, Hubble discovered in August 2020 that the vortex had changed direction again and was heading back north. Although Hubble has tracked similar dark spots for nearly 30 years, this atmosphere atmospheric behavior was something entirely new. Researchers do not yet know what these movements mean or whether the events are simply rare or worrisome anomalies. The largest storm Hubble has ever observed on Neptune was 4,600 miles in diameter. Researchers have been observing the behavior of the storm since 1993, and they noticed that the storm seemed to disappear several times, perhaps actually dissipating, only to reappear not far from where it disappeared. Scientists would love to know more about these events. A theory says that the storms disappear only superficially, but continue to rage in the deeper layers of Neptune. From time to time, the events could then become visible again on the surface. We do not yet know what exactly is happening in Neptune's deep layers. NASA would have to send a probe to the Blue Planet. Similar to Cassini, this could be brought down over the planet at the end of its operating time. During the flight through the layers of Neptune, researchers could finally obtain the data they have been longing for. This is still a pie in the sky idea, but it's certain that Neptune will also get its own probe at some point. Perhaps NASA will combine a mission to Neptune with the search for the mysterious Planet X, whose orbit is said to be behind Neptune. Since Pluto is no longer a planet, Neptune is the eighth and last of the major planets in the system. However, orbital calculations of some other objects in the solar system have provided multiple hints that there must be another large planet behind Neptune. Planet 9, or Planet X, could be orbiting the Sun in a highly eccentric orbit, so far out that it has not yet become visible because of poor lighting conditions. If Planet X orbits so far out, its orbital period around the Sun could be up to 1,000 years. Theoretically, this planet would only become visible to modern telescopes every few hundred years. Neptune's Largest Moon, Triton We'll finish by taking another look at James Webb's brand new image. Surely, when you saw the photo, you immediately wondered what that beautiful blue-green light 
in the background of Neptune was. Well, even though this apparition looks like a brightly shining star, the mysterious green sparkle is simply a moon. This image shows seven of the 14 Neptune moons known so far, and the one shining so brightly is Triton. Triton is the largest of Neptune's moons and about the size of Earth's moon. Because this moon orbits its planet in an extremely elliptical orbit, researchers hypothesize that Triton may have once been a Kuiper Belt object captured by Neptune's gravity. The moon appears greenish in this image due to the special color filtering of the image. As an icy moon, Triton also perfectly reflects the sparse sunlight. On Triton, similar to Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, ice volcanism has been observed. There is probably even a liquid ocean beneath the moon's ice crust. So, a Neptune probe would truly have a lot to explore in this part of the solar system. Until that time comes, we remain curious about what new observations the James Webb Telescope will surprise us with. It's certain that researchers will now regularly take a look at Neptune with the new telescope. And if there are any new exciting discoveries, you will definitely find out here. Finally, leave us a comment and tell us what you think about the latest discoveries around Neptune and the fascinating image from the James Webb Telescope. We're glad you joined us today and watched. Until next time, on Simply Space.